him. And Congressman Farenthold, we were talking off camera. You said this was a selfless act by Kevin McCarthy. Why? Listen, my Facebook, Twitter, town halls, phone calls have been, all been blowing up saying Kevin McCarthy is just John Boehner 2.0, and we don't want that. And I can tell you, Kevin showed today that he is an honorable man. He put the country in front of his own political ambitions. And you know, I, I, I'm proud to call him a, a friend, and I think he, he made the right choice. And it's going to really open up uh, the, the race. And I think we're going to see some new faces develop over the next 24 to 48 hours. Congressman, you talk about how constituents were angry at the possibility of McCarthy. We saw the Tea Party Patriots here on Capitol Hill yesterday handing out T-shirts that said McBainer. I should have part two. <laughs> taken one. Who can get 218, or who's somebody that could make your constituents happy? Is there is that person out there? I think there is. I think there may be a Texan out there. So we're going to wait and see. I think there's a, a great opportunity for someone to, uh, to 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 heal the party and uh, actually be able to work with both the conservative and the liberal branch of our party and even uh, reach across the aisle. A, a, a new personality, a, a uniner. I think I think we can find somebody. And lastly, this idea of an interim speaker that's being floated around, what, what are your feelings about that? Someone to serve out the remainder of this Congress? Horrible idea. The American people are tired of Congress kicking the can down the road. Now, there's a false narrative of a do-nothing Congress. This Congress hasn't gotten everything done that a lot of conservatives want, but it, I think getting somebody as a placeholder sends the wrong message that we're not ready to uh, go address the problems facing this country now. Congressman, thank you so much for your time. And Kate, that just shows...